Hello truckers, welcome to today's episode of Truck Maintenance One-on-One. -on -one. I'm here to guide you through a common issue, the check engine light coming on on your semi. Don't worry, we got you covered. Let's dive right in. Hello, I'm Adam with TAT Express, and on this channel, we discuss diesel maintenance, repair, and updates on the trucking industry. If you like this type of content, hit that like and subscribe button. If you'd like to schedule service, you can call us at 972-225-3017. So you're driving along and suddenly your check engine light illuminates and your engine derates. Here's what you need to do. Step one, stay calm, don't panic. The check engine light can indicate various issues ranging from minor to potentially more serious. It's important not to ignore it. Step two, consult your truck service manual. Every truck comes with a manual specific to its make and model. Refer to the troubleshooting section for the engines to identify potential causes for the check engine light. The manual will provide you with valuable information about possible reasons for the check engine light, helping you narrow down the issue. Pay close attention to the DEF or regen lights. Step three, inspect the truck visually. Look for loose wires, disconnected hoses, or obvious signs of damage. Also, ensure the battery cables are properly tightened because a loose cable can trigger a check engine light. Step four, the check engine light is usually accompanied by an error code stored in the ECM. You'll need to obtain an OBD2 scanner or a diagnostic tool that's capable for your truck system. Connect the scanner to the truck and retrieve the error codes. These codes will help you identify the specific problems. Step five is to interpret the error codes. Once you have the error codes, you can look their meanings up in a service manual or an online database. This will give you a better understanding of the underlying issues causing the check engine light and the rating. Finding the problem's root cause and paying close attention to frequent fault codes is critical. Step six is to address common issues. Based on the error codes and symptoms, you can troubleshoot and address some common issues yourself. For instance, it could be a faulty sensor, an EGR valve, a clogged fuel filter, or an air intake problem. Refer to your engine service manual for detailed instructions on diagnosing and fixing these issues. Step seven is to seek professional assistance. If you are unable to determine the cause of the problem, or it requires specialized knowledge and tools, it's best to take your truck to an experienced mechanic or a service center with experience with working on semi-trucks. They will have the expertise and diagnostic equipment to identify and repair the issue accurately. Remember that the engine derating is a safety feature that is designed to protect the engine from further damage. It is critical to address the problem promptly to prevent potential long-term consequences and to ensure proper functioning of your truck. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. If you want to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. Thanks again for watching and until next time, be safe.